Hello and what's up? Today's video is just a quick update video and I want to share with you what's going on right now with my current account. Um, I am going to show you guys something that will make you guys feel betrayed, like I'm lying to you, but I'm not because I'm going to explain why and how. So if I click on my hero list, you're going to see Cherry here, which is the SSR. You're going to see a... Uh, a Lance here, which is SR, this girl, which I cannot pronounce the name, and also Freya. Um, you guys probably know why or how I get Freya. It's really through an event. Um, for Lance, it's given to you when you start the game after a few tutorials. Uh, Lance and this guy, Scott, they are both given to you. And also you have Cherry. Cherry, you get her from doing the Path of Light. Every single time a server starts and that occurs, like almost, if I'm not mistaken, it's about every month. So at a certain point of the next month, it will have a new server and then they will have this event. So everyone has a chance of getting this. The only problem is if you start playing in the middle of the month or something like that, then you might have very little time remaining and you might not be able to finish it on time, therefore not being able to get her. So because of that, because there's a slight chance that you might not get her, I've decided not to play this character even though I got I got her for free. So, so that was the initial idea. I'm going to make a series where I'm not going to play any SSR and I'm going to play only characters that's given to me. And so the only characters that are given to you is Matthew, of course, you have the the green green greenier uh, greenier greenier, <laughs> and then we have um, wait this two, and then we have Almeida, and then we have Scott and Lens. These five characters are the only ones that's given to you. Everything else here you kind of need to summon. Um, they are quite easy to get because you use friendship vultures instead of using the uh, Trinity Vulture, which is the gold one. So it's a lot easier to get. In fact, I more or less have every single rare except for an assassin. Um, I forgot what his name is, but yeah, except for that assassin. So uh, with that said, originally I was thinking I'll use this five and play through the entire game. But then there are issues. Issues like when you go training and you, you want to do expedition, um, you can put up to three characters in each expedition. So this means that if I want to have a full unit for every expedition, I need nine characters and five characters just won't do. So, so there's this problem. So this means that I actually need more characters and the higher their level, the better their gear, um, the more chances of them getting good stuff, good loots. So then I start thinking and decided, okay, I'll, I'll use any characters that's given to me and also all the rares. Okay, so all the rares. But then recently, I feel like I don't need Lens. And I feel like Lens is kind of in the way and it kind of makes it hard for me to explain to people like then, especially if you're new, you don't know what character is given to you. So, so it's a lot easier for me to rephrase everything and just say that I'll play all rares. And so now I've decided to not use Lance and use Keith instead. So Keith is going to be the replacement for Lance. He's also a expert flyer. That is one of the changes. So right now, currently the update of what I'm going to do with this account is that I'm not going to play any character except for the rares. Then there's another contradiction. You'll look at my list of characters and say, why is Cherry, which is the SSR that I got, why is she leveled? And why is Lance leveled so high equal to, you know, the, the characters that I have, the rares that I'm actually going to use. So my answer to that is that the only reason why I'm leveling them and they are going to stop leveling at level 35. I'm not going to increase their level after they reach level 35. The whole reason is because of bonds. So for a very long time, I've been only able to do Lance's Gate of Fate and also Lester's Gate of Fate. 
The reason why is because all the other rares do not have a gate of fate. Um, even some of the SR, for example, Freya doesn't have gate of fate. Even this girl who I cannot pronounce her name does not have gate of fate. And every single day you have nine um, sort of like runs where you can do gate of fate. So for a very long time, I've been doing lands um, two, two submissions or missions. Um, so that is two out of nine. And then I've been doing glasses, which again, there's two. You could unlock more in the future, but there's another two. So that is four out of nine. And this means that there are five attempts that is not used every single day to get better loot. So that's why Cherry is leveled. The reason why Cherry is leveled is so that I can use her to do her Gate of Fate. The first two missions is Cherry only. So if she's level one, obviously you're not gonna pass the mission. So I'm using her to do, to use up the chance so that it's not gonna be a waste. And then I'm gonna use her to get gifts. And I'm gonna use those gifts to buff the actual main characters. So that is why Cherries is leveled and I'm not really actually going to use her. Although I've been thinking a lot lately that I might want to make an exception for PvP because in, in campaigns in uh, PvE, there's always a way to outsmart the AI. It's very easy to find loopholes or, or um, yeah, basically you can outsmart them just by having a better strategy or have a, a unique setup. But then in PvP, very often is whoever that has the bigger gun wins. So I may need to use Cherry for future PvPs, maybe even Lance. I don't know yet. But then again, Cherry is not going to go above level 35. So at some point, she's going to start lacking out. And then it wouldn't be even good to use her instead of something else, even though it's, a, it's just a rare. One more thing that you might have in your head right now is that why is this old guy having so much uh, friendship level? Um, the reason why you don't see me using this old guy in my current fight is because he, at this level, not a very good tank. At least not a very good tank for my setup. For my setup, um, currently, I feel like uh, Grenier is actually a really good tank, good enough tank for for the way I'm playing. But later in the late games, Grenier is actually going to switch roles. He's not going to be a tank anymore. And when that happens, I need this old guy. This old guy is going to be our new tank. And I'm going to explain in detail why I choose him uh, in the future, which uh, I think it will be very interesting. So my healer, Nah, something that's gonna happen to him and we're gonna talk about it in the future and then my tank and then we have Matthew which is uh, I would say the main burst damage because of his ability 1.5 um, times his normal damage and also he has range so yeah he is more or less like a DPS in this in this scenario so DPS healer tank eh, something Okay, with that, I think that is all I want to talk or share with you. This is a quick update so that the next time when I play, you won't be like, uh, Zelp, why do you have, you know? So hopefully that clears things up. I'm a little bit more to level 34 and that's a big deal because at level 34, your hero cap can go up to 35. And once they reach 35, once they reach 35, they can all have their uh, master rank up and then they can change classes and that is a big deal because once they are able to change classes i'm going to do all kinds of things to them and you're going to see a lot of changes with that said let's take a look at the summons i have 12 uh trinity vouchers so we're going to use them let's hope we get an ssr before we end this video come on Now, an SR is pretty much guaranteed. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm, I'm excited because 
I need all the help that I can get playing with only rares. Whoa, this looks... I don't have this before. I don't know why it does. Let's just explore a little bit. Oh. Oh my god, I got two SSR. Ooh, I had this before in my first account. He has really good, I think, magic defense. I don't know what this is. Okay, let's go and explore real quick. Just take a look at what its uniqueness is. So the first one is this one. I'm so curious. Oh, it's for a magician. So INT and magic defense. Uh, so it says here that INT plus 1.5% which is going to increase as you level up this uh, this item when attacking okay so specifically when attacking after the battle grants a 25% chance to reduce enemies damage dealt by 15% last one turn eh, that's not very useful considering that it's a magician that's doing the attack I guess it's very useful if you're a debuff type and you're doing AoE. So let's say you do an AoE on five characters and each one of the five has trained 5% 5 chance of reducing their damage dealt by 15% for the next turn. Then it would be pretty cool. Because if you use this, um, let's say in PvP and you're the first character and, and you have a mage and use this first, then the entire, the entire turn, the entire round, there's a chance that all of them deals 15% less. Also, it's pretty much bound to occur when you use AoE because even though it's just 25% chance, but if you have five of them and each one of them has 25% chance, then surely someone's gonna get. Okay, that's not too bad. So another one is this one, which I had before. It gives you immunity from defense and magic defense reduction. So it's a debuff if you get that debuff. You don't get that debuff and then uh, it gives magic defense which is okay so with that we're gonna end the video thank you very much for watching i hope you guys um now know what's about to come and probably we're gonna have a, a very interesting it all depends if i can get the clip or not because i'm trying to make a a, a tutorial on one of the events um actually two of the events but if I couldn't get the clip in time, so maybe tomorrow we're going to talk about the setup and how that's going to work. Maybe even play through one round. Bye bye. Hi, thank you for watching till the end. I hope that you will consider subscribing to help the growth of this channel. Like and comment down below to let me know if you like to see more of this particular content. And finally, click the bell icon so that you will not miss any of my new upcoming videos. I wish you a pleasant day. Bye bye.